the most original acts or acts of service. And you're thinking, wow, this is what I am uniquely designed to give. We are back talking debt, donk a donk, and today's reflection is on being original. There is a phrase from Alan Watts where he said, to be original is to speak from the origin. I love that articulation. To be original is to speak from the origin. We think being original is to go way out there. Oh, that person's way out there. Real eccentric. Beyond the pale. Beyond the walls of convention and society. Go and find something as an explorer and you piece it together in some unique, creative way and you bring it back. But that is the opposite of how it works. That might be our notion of it, much like our notion of you know, a lone genius that is working in isolation and they invent something and they bring it back, which is so mythologized is not really how innovation works. Innovation is a tight knit collaboration. Even if it is a great individual inventor, they are incredibly incredibly woven within the people they are creating something for. An amazing painter becomes an amazing painter because of amazing teaching, because of an insane amount of fostering from a community, patrons that send them to schooling. All of these examples, the, the, there is never some lone genius that does it all on their own. There aren't even things as, such as self-made millionaires. It is always a case of many lives, if not many communities, interwoven together to produce anything or any success. That is certainly the case. 15 years of building startups and watching them up close as an investor for the last 12 years in Silicon Valley, it's, it, is, it is such a misnomer. But the other misnomer around creativity or originality is that you go way out there and you bring it back. Instead, it is usually from someone going way in here, deep down to the taproot of who they really are, foregoing the paths out there of, oh, maybe this would be more commercially viable if I you know, didn't play music or if I didn't pursue art and I decided to, to go get XYZ job that pays better. To make that decision, we chatted about this in a recent episode about Swadharma, your nature. To make that decision to go deeply and fall deeply, surrender deeply into who you are. That is the foundation of being an original. Imagine Michael Jordan being like, you know what? I'm going to be an investment banker just because, I don't know, over time, maybe it'll pay better than the average person that tries to make it in the NBA. You'd miss out. We, all, we would all miss out on seeing that, that mastery, that greatness. I know I was inspired by that work ethic, by that greatness, you know, at six, seven, eight years old. It's one of the beautiful things about sport is that it's one of the few few professions where we all could watch we all get to watch mastery of something you get an end result with you know a song on spotify but that's totally different than watching the live experience and someone doing something that you know is otherworldly is just pure mastery of a craft you get to see a finished piece of artwork but you don't really get to see the mastery of the craft and creating it like you do with professional sports on a regular basis. And that mastery comes from the people that really master that or any craft. It comes from an intense inner journey. Starting with finding out, excavating and surrendering into who they really are, which is one of the most divine qualities 
within this philosophy of Vedanta. Falling into, surrendering into your Swadharma. One of the best things for yourself and your community when the blacksmith that is just so wired to be the blacksmith in the village of 200 people falls into, surrenders into that instead of trying to be the doctor, instead of trying to be the farmer, but says, okay, I'm going to fall into this. Five, six, seven years later, the entire community is lifting them up on a daily basis because what they're doing is such a great service to their entire community. And that blacksmith is probably whistling while they work because they're doing what they're naturally wired for. That's part of sinking into, finding, coming from the origin, surrendering to that duty and our nature. But the other part of an original, speaking from the origin, is that, and Rick Rubin said this about the creative act recently with his super famous book that I haven't read, you know, and I haven't read it because I heard him say one time, I don't read anything right now in my life. I don't read anything that isn't a thousand years old. And I'm not quite that religious on only things that are over a thousand, only books that are over a thousand years old. But the other aspect of speaking from the origin and therefore creating something, being original because you are speaking from the origin, is that the most original acts are acts of service. They are done with an unselfishness that is as divine as any other quality. They're pursued the energy required to be a master of a craft, to create prolifically for the world. That that energy required, it's not only just falling into your nature, but then also because you can fall into your swadharma Say, you know what, I'm going to be a musician and I want to be on stage with 100,000 people cheering my name and it's completely selfish in its pursuit, even though it is what that person is wired for. But if you can combine Swadharma, your nature, with unselfish service and generosity for others, that is how your craft, your pursuit of that craft generates energy over time instead of dissipates to where you build momentum 20 years in instead of substance abuse and overdosing when you're 27, which is almost a cliche from so many famous musicians. That is something that is so under-discussed when it comes to being original. Rick Rubin recently touched on it with his book where he said that the creative act ultimately It's an optimal approach to the creative act when it is an offering to God, which I think took a lot of people by surprise because he is one of the most famous producers in the history of music production. And he went hypertheistic, not just like, hey, by the way, a divine practice, a God practice, spiritual practice is helpful in the creative effort as one of the 11 things. He said, The primary approach to creativity should be that whatever you're making is an offering to God. That's that's how you become original. When you're not making something thinking, what am I going to get out of this? Because that's business. But when you make it and you're thinking, wow, this is what I am uniquely designed to give that is being original and that's today's reflection on the daily vedantic we'll see you next time